cancer stage wise management from figo 2021 guideline will be discussed today in stage 1 the tumor is confined to ovary ovaries or fallopian tubes means it doesn't extend beyond the ovaries or the fallopian tubes stage 1 is divided into 1a 1b and 1c in stage 1a only one ovary or fallopian tube is affected by the tumor and the ovarian capsule is intact it is not breached moreover if you check the surface of the ovary or fallopian tube you will find that there is no tumor detected on the surface of ovary or the fallopian tube also no malignant cells are detected in the ascites or peritoneal washings infertility sparing only in the low grade tumors unilateral salpingo ovarectomy is done along with that the peritoneal biopsies and lymph node dissection is performed when the family is complete we go for primary debulking with a residual disease of less than 1 cm plus adjuvant chemo in the grade 3 what happens in stage 1b here both ovaries or fallopian tubes are affected by the tumor and the ovarian capsule is intact and as in case of stage 1a in 1b also no tumor is detected on the surface of ovaries or fallopian tubes and malignant cells are not detected in ascites or peritoneal washings management of stage 1b is primary debulking plus adjuvant chemotherapy in case of the grade 3 ovarian cancer in stage 1c the tumor can be limited to one ovary or both ovaries but it has got cer- certain additional features as well if there is surgical spill that is included in 1c1 but when we do surgery and you find out that ovarian capsule is ruptured before surgery so that would be included in 1c2 and if you detect the tumor on the surface of either ovary or fallopian tube and malignant cells are detected in the ascites or peritoneal washing that would be stage 1c3 the mainstay of management of stage 1c ovarian cancer is primary debulking plus adjuvant chemotherapy the adjuvant chemotherapy include six doses of carboplatin the second line drug would be paclitaxel the side effect of the paclitaxel are bone marrow depression in stage 2 the tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with a pelvic extension below the pelvic brim or primary peritoneal cancer the management is primary debulking plus adjuvant chemo or new adjuvant chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery in stage 2a the tumor has extended and or implanted into uterus and or the fallopian tubes and or ovaries so re- remember uto uterus tubes and ovaries are involved in stage 2a it is managed by primary debulking plus adjuvant chemo in stage 2b the tumor has extended to another organs in the pelvis or other pelvic intraperitoneal tissues its management is by wertheim hysterectomy In stage 3 the tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes or primary peritoneal cancer with a confirmed cytological or histological spread to peritoneal surfaces involving both pelvic and abdominal peritoneum and or metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes so one very important feature that you can see in stage 3 is the involvement of lymph nodes Stage 3 is further divided into 3A1 and 3A2. In 3A1 there is positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes only and it can there can be metastasis up to 10 mm in greater dimension or metastasis more than 10 mm in greater dimension. In contrast in stage 3A2 there is microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal involvement with or without positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes so here the cancer cells can only be seen under the microscope in stage 3b 
there are microscopic peritoneal metastases beyond the pelvis 2 cm in greatest dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes which means that in 3b as compared to 3a2 we can see the cancer cells on the lining of the abdomen or the peritoneum in stage 3c the initial features are similar to stage 3b which were microscopic peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm in greater dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes but here the additional features include that there is extension of tumor to the capsule of liver and spleen without the parenchymal involvement of either organs so on staging laparotomy you will find that the tumor is only extended to the surface of the liver or the spleen but not inside it the management of stage 3 is neurogen chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery in stage 4 there is distant metastasis beyond the peritoneal cavity including the parenchyma of the liver spleen and also we will see the extra abdominal metastasis in stage 4a there is pleural effusion with a positive cytology in stage 4b there is parenchymal metastasis and metastasis to extra abdominal organs management of stage 4 is distant metastasis management which would be neurogen chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery but as it is stage 4 so we have to look at the age of the patient and associated comorbidities so that palliative management can be offered to her now this is the whole summary of whatever i explained to you you can take screenshot of it thank you so much write your comments in the comment section of this video subscribe on ops and gyne and follow our facebook page thank you so much allah face